Today we are here to witness an industry first. Behind me we have got two Volvo Ocean 65s and together with Volvo Penta today they are going to dock in in, um, in the very, very first new self-docking system, a 68-foot yacht. Now, I've got a team of Volvo Penta experts here with me who are going to take us along with this journey and make sure we know exactly what is going on. So, hi, you. I'm Johan Westerreng and uh, I'm heading the product management marine within uh, Volvo Penta. And I will show you or guide you through our latest technology today here. And with me I have two of my colleagues, my experts. So on my left side there is Mr. Håkan Stigeberg. And out on the boat I have Mr. Anders Thorin. Okay, so fantastic. Now, what exactly are we going to expect to see today? Uh, actually, as I said, uh, we're going to show you the, our near future when it comes to self-docking technology. And uh, you have to remember, this is still in the, in the prototype development phase. So this is actually the first time ever we are uh, showing the technology. And it's not on the market yet, you have to remember that. Uh, and we have developed it to make docking easier and take away the stress when you are going to dock. Uh, but before we, we start up that docking, uh, our, uh, and, uh, we attempt to do some man maneuvers to show the maneuverability of the IPS system. And uh, we will do that in the 68-foot yacht out there. Uh, and um, if we talk in more in general about the IPS system, it was introduced in 2005, and we had delivered more than uh, 20,000 units out to the market. So, so uh, it's uh, quite, quite uh, we can say, uh, 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 system that have been in, in, in production for a long time. Uh, uh, but now we're going to show you a couple of maneuvers. Brilliant. Okay, let's check out the yacht and uh, check out some maneuvers. And uh, check out some maneuvers. Okay, so our uh, expert captain Thomas will now show us a pirouette and how easy it to do a pirouette with uh, this size yacht uh, by use our fantastic joystick system. so we can go see that. Yeah, you can go in längs jottarna sen när jag säger till. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's uh, get the yacht back into position or into the start position for docking. So uh, Thomas, let's go sideways into the start position. Uh, with the joystick that uh, that makes the uh, so easy to, to maneuver the boat and you can see it's moving all sideways uh, and uh, that is a result of the combination of the IPS system uh, power and performance that that you can actually provide with, uh, during that kind of maneuver so great huh it looks really great so Anders uh, what's next So we are about to, to reach the, uh, uh, the starting position and uh, as you can see we are still going sideways. It's as easy to go sideways as uh, in any direction with this boat. And we are closing up. And uh, you might uh, recognize that this kind of movement so, is Thomas, not possible with other systems. It's very hard to, to match this combination with uh, power uh, and... and uh, but with the IPS you can combine it, uh, both with the joystick and, and the IPS system as such. 
It's absolutely incredible, actually. It really does look like the boat is actually dancing out there seamlessly on the water. Now, for those of you who have just joined us here, um, we're here with Volvo Penta for an absolute industry first. Um, we are doing the first ever um, demonstration of a self-docking yacht. It's a 68-foot yacht, and it's about to um, very soon dock in between the two Volvo Ocean 65s um, that are behind us. Now, the... the <laughs> They're warmed up now. They've done a pirouette. They've done a little bit of um, sideways oh. manoeuvre, which I have to say for me is incredibly impressive. But I am actually ready to see this, bo this boat self-dock into here because, I mean, to witness something that it is a first here in the Volvo Ocean Race Village is amazing. Yeah. So what about you, Anders? Are you in position yet? Absolutely, we are uh, getting in the perfect position now. Fantastic. Now, Anders, can you just take us through exactly how this works and uh, how you get started? Well, first of all, we... Absolutely. We uh, as uh, I... Go ahead, Håkan. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, first of all, we have a user interface uh, that we have developed on board, which actually make it possible for the crew on board to know that they're actually in the right position. And all what they are and then just entering what we call the catch zone. So, Ash Anders, can you show us how it looks? Anders, can you show us how it looks? Absolutely. Uh, as you can see, we have started the, um, uh, our Easy Connect app, where we have also added an easy docking view. And in this one you can see that we have just entered the catch zone or the start zone where uh, the yacht will get ready for the, the final move into the parking space. This is really a, a stressful moment typically when you need to prepare the boat at the same time as you, you uh, keep it standing still in this position. So our intention is to make this uh, much easier and less stressful. Yeah, great, Anders. Looks like you're uh, really ready to get started now. To, and uh, let's uh, activate the function. And uh, then the boat will actually take over and start moving itself into the start position. So let's go, Anders. Okay. Okay, our driver Thomas uh, just activated the self docking function on the joystick. I feel like I really want to see his hands not like touching really anything so that <laughs> if we can prove aha that's it perfect yeah. raise them up see if you want to go faster brilliant <laughs> yeah so now uh, when our captain has activated the function the boat is moving itself into the start position where it will start the, the self-talking process so what is the next step then well, the next step is that when the boat has arrived at the starting position, it will actually stay there and hold its position and heading. And that's the point where the crew can uh, prepare in good time to, uh, before they go into the, the final approach. So Anders, can you check and see if you are in the, in the right position? Absolutely, it's, it's uh, going great. And, uh uh, the boat is performing really well, so we are prepared to do the final step into the docking position. Perfect. So um, what you can do now uh, with the captain to, to do the final approach, he will just pull the joystick to get started. There's some absolutely amazing footage as well from the drone that's up there that's showing the audience here. Um, now, if you have just joined us, uh, the boat is just going to take itself to the dock. Uh, in, in this case, if you've, if you've just arrived in the village, this is an absolute industry first. Um, the first ever demonstration of a self-docking yacht. Um, you're about to witness it. Um, our Volvo 65s here, uh, Vestas, and also um, Turn the Tide on Plastic, in the middle of those two boats, they're just about to dock it. Yeah, and as you have seen now, the, the boat is actually automatically rotating and aligning itself to move into the parking space. And at this point, we're using the, the GPS, but as we go, get closer to the, the docking space, we will use additional sensors that, that actually on the boat and on the dock itself. So how does this actually compare to, say, docking, uh, to say, uh, self-parking -par um, a car? So when parking a car on the ground, uh, it's standing still. And, and uh, when you stop a car, it will not move. 
But if you compare uh, with the boat, I mean, the water is moving. There are other things that, that impact the, the boat, like current, like wind and, and such. So it will not stay in the spot as long as, or if you compare to a car. Uh, and, and therefore, it makes it a little bit more complicated. So, as you said, things are ever-changing out on the water, as we well know with this race. Um, so what happens if you need to stop for any reason? Yeah, first of all, most importantly, the, the captain can always override and take over manual control. But uh, many times you just want to stop for a little bit and uh, adjust something. And then we have included a feature that we call pause. And this feature is actually quite great because the, the captain just touched the joystick and the boat stops and holds its position and heading and then are waiting for the captain to uh, give the approval again to start moving by pulling the joystick again. So this is a fantastic small feature that, that really relieves stress for, uh, for the docking procedure. Yeah, incredibly vitally important, I would have said as well. So Anders, how are things getting on out there? It's going great. Everything is very relaxed here on board and Thomas is just monitoring from the uh, captain's chair. Uh, and in the app we can see that the docking is in, um, in progress and also how the system is working the, board, uh, the boat towards the docking spots. Yeah. And what we're seeing now as well is uh, just as it approaches uh, the boat, it will slow down and then make some very small uh, precise adjustments just to make sure that it's perfectly aligned with the dock before it actually starts moving in between these two race boats. So why are you working to automate this process? And uh, does it seem, uh, it doesn't actually seem like the, the boat's docking any faster? No, it's, it's not about making the process quicker or the docking quicker. It's more to take out the stress. And I think all of you that are boaters or have been on, on board on a boat know how difficult it is really, especially when you come into the moment of entering a harbor or, or, or such. And, I mean, by doing this in this way, automatically, it takes out all the stress and you can feel relaxed. And I have to say that this is actually an amazing demonstration of taking the stress out because what you have here is uh, a fleet of Volvo Ocean 65s yeah. that haven't yet finished their lap around the world. They still have one more leg to go. Yeah. Yeah. So to be able to uh, self-back it into, uh, uh, for the first time ever, in between these two uh, boats really is taking the stress out of it. Yeah, and as you see, it is a very, very uh, tight gap it should fit into. And it's actually the sensors that we have additionally placed on the boat and on the dock itself that makes it possible for it to be this accurate in the final stages. Wow. That is pretty impressive. And considering that it is an industry first, the fact that it worked the first time, yeah. it must be quite a relief as well. That has taken out the stress here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what about safety? Um, this is huge for Volvo, I know, um, and Volvo Penta, it's one of the, the main concerns in every single thing that Volvo ever does. Um, what are the risks here? Uh, when we're going to release the uh, technology to the market, we will of course include uh, collision alert and collision avoidance into the system. Uh, but still we recommend that the captain will kind of be there checking the docking during the automation that it's ongoing. So, uh, by that, uh, we have the full redundancy. Now, out here, you've just seen an industry first. You've just seen the first ever self-docking of a boat, a 68-foot yacht boat um, in between two Volvo 65s. We've had all of this audience here watching on all of the big screens. Um, what we all need to know, I mean, what I want to know is how and when can we get this? You said it wasn't on the market and we all want it now. Uh, we have said that uh, at 2020, the earliest, and we will start to offer it to individuals and, and then further down the road to, uh, to marinas and harbors. And uh, we also see that uh, in the future you could use our Easy Connect app to find harbors that can offer this, uh, this kind of support. And uh, you can also uh, make a reservation actually in the marina, so they are prepared to welcome you when, when you arrive. 
Fantastic. Well, thank you to you both. Thank you to uh, thank you. Anders as well. Um, and also to Thomas, the, the, uh, the, ki the skipper on yeah. board, who actually didn't really need to do an awful lot today, let's face it. Yeah. Um, just play with a joystick yeah. um, because that boat, um, for the first time ever, industry first, um, parked itself. And it really was an impressive display. The relief on our sailors' faces <laughs> out there um, that their boats are now safe. Um, thank you so much to Volvo Penta and thank you to you guys. You heard it here first. You're able thank to you. reserve it right now.